There are three types of temporary tables. Derived tables, and these only last the life of a single query. There are temporary tables, which will last the entire session, but when you log off, bye-bye, they're gone, and external tables. These are tables that are not on the TISA. They're just outside of Natiza, and often these are used to load into Natiza, but you can query them also, and that's what we're going to understand in this chapter. When I first heard about derived tables, I said, I'm good at this stuff. It's just a new feature. It'll be easy for me. Three hours later, tears were running down my face. I couldn't get it, but when it was explained to me, it was just so amazing. Here are three derived queries creating the same derived table, but using different syntax. I'll explain here, but let me give you a better idea what a derived table is. It's like running an SQL query and saying, time out, ref, and they go, time out in the middle of a query, and you go, time out, open paren, I'm going to run a select query, I'm going to save the results, in a table that I tell you its name, in this case, it's Tara Tom, and I'll list the columns. Time in, and now run it. Most of the time, your derived tables are joined with other tables, but not always, and not in this examples here. So, let's take a look at these. First of all, we're going to select everything from, and we go time out. Here's our first derived query, and we're going to select the average salary we're going to put it in a table called Teratom, and then we're going to list and say this one column that we have in our table, it's called AVG Sal, and that's what's going to come as a result. We're doing the second query the same exact way. We're saying select everything from timeout, select the average salary as AVG Sal. You see, we gave the column its alias right away, and then after we call time in, we say, as Tara Tom. You always name the table anytime you create a derived table. And lastly, you can see this is a derived table with the with command. Oh, it's really clever. It's almost as if you create the derived table and then do your real query. So I go with Tara Tom, open paren, AVG sal, and all I've done so far is saying, Table is going to be called Teratom. It's got one column in it called AVG Sal. As open paren, close paren, timeout, select average salary from the employee table. And then I start the real query and say, select everything from Teratom. We've done the same thing three ways, and we've created a derived table, and that derived table will only last for the life of this query. Get these down. This is going to be very important. This is a perfect example of how you'll see derived tables often created. They'll be joined to other tables, and quite often they'll be used in aggregation. Sometimes aggregation is tough to work with, but you put it in a derived table, and it works really cleverly. Watch this. We're going to select E dot asterisk, everything from the employee table, AVG sal. That's going to be our column name in our derived table. From employee table, enter join, timeout. Here's where we run the derived query. We're going to put it in a table we call Tara Tom, and we list both of the column names. And now we can say time in, and how do we want to join it? On Depno and Depno, and the report comes out perfect. And guess what? The derived table is gone when the query is over. This is the exact query we saw before, but it's different in one way. How I've aliased the column names. You see, every time you create a derived table, you'll call timeout with those parens and you'll have your select query. Every time you have got to give it a table name. You've got to do that, but you can do some things that are a little different when you're aliasing the columns. And in this case, we called timeout, we have our select query, but we select Depno as Depno. Average salary as AVG sal. And then we just have to name the derived table. We call it Teratom. We don't have to alias the columns again. The 
this is just a different style that you might like. I like to create my derived tables using this with statement. We're doing the same thing we did before, but it's as if you're creating the derived table before you even really start. That's not really the case. I've separated some things here. It's all together as one, but it starts with with Teratom. That's the name of the table. You list the columns. That's the only syntax this will accept. Then you say as, you call your timeout, you run the derived query. That is what's called materialized. Then we have our select statement and our join almost as if these were two normal tables. That might be very easy for some of you to understand. Realize now you've got three options on creating your derived tables. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Start your Natiza journey the right way by reading our Brilliance of Natiza book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.